<laughs> All right, baby. Let's go, baby Wake bows. Up, baby uh, bows. Hello. No, I am wide awake. Did you hit the bong already? You yeah. better have a mask. <laughs> <first. laughs> <Not> a bong. <laughs> Do, okay, so we're doing like origin story. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well. You're just catching up. You're the last person. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Bose Bose. <laughs> <laughs> I am fucking annoying. Okay, but no, like I think we had like a pretty even distribution of like nobody wanted to be in an entertainment. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be in entertainment either. But like because I'm an only child and I just like take attention, it just kept happening. But actually, no bullshit. I wanted to be in music when I was younger. Oh. Wow. Like I was. What kind? Like, what? dude. I was mad depressed. So like I would like do Screamo, like emo. No, no, I was like six, dog. <laughs> oh. You were depressed at six? <laughs> oh hell yeah. Same. Like oh. even so much so that like I uh I think at like six or no, it was like maybe like seven or eight. I used to play the piano and for like one of those talent competitions in elementary school, I wrote this really gorgeous piano composition. It was this shit was called Sleep you Dear wrote Destiny. That? Oh, wait a minute. You know like, when you do shit at six and you think you're really, really good at it? No, no, no. I still older, I still like, have the tape of it. It and it was and it's pretty, really, but this is what happened so we submitted it and I immediately got thrown out of the competition because they said there's no way that a child like did this this and so for me wow. that fucking hurt because it was like you like doing this thing but you didn't do this yeah like it, it, it just it just goes full stop who like, was that teacher let's go jump yeah dude fuck it, was, it was like the whole school or whatever so oh, we'll go jump the whole school. School. whoever was doing the thing so like there was that shit and then one day I was like singing a song and somebody told me to shut up and then I was like I don't ever <gasps> want to do music again oh my god so like that's that was like I always wanted to do music and it's still like in me but like I ain't gonna do it. So I keep. Oh, man, like, we gotta, we gotta talk about it. Yeah, that. seriously. <laughs> we, Maybe yeah. not this time, but we're gonna talk about that. I feel I, like you should write and perform the jingle for our stream when we. Oh, or for yeah. our, oh my god! I should totally you should. do it. Oh, that would be that would be funny. But yeah, so like I kept like I kept like low key doing entertainment shit and just I don't know. Like my mom would throw me and stuff because like I just have a big personality. Mm-hmm. But um, so I don't know. I just kind of moved through life. I graduated at sixteen because I got like thrown out of three different schools. Where did you oh, grow my up? Goodness. Virginia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Virginia. I got kicked out of three schools. And so finally at the fourth one, they had like an online program. So I strapped the fuck in, graduated at 16. I started a business. I was out this bitch. What kind of business? Uh, I was doing promotions for clubs. I was the only person. I was like a child of the internet. I grew up playing video games too. So like... I was making like flyers and I was the only person making flyers in the area. I went to this DJ and I told him, I was like, hey man, cause I did web design for like five or six years. I was like, hey dude, um, I'll make you three flyers for free. And then after that you have to pay me. Cause I had to get my foot in the door somehow. And At he was 16? Like, yeah, he That's was like, smart. okay, yeah. cool. And, and so I did one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, he just sent me an email with the request. I was like, yeah, I got you, but this time it's $50. And so then I started picking up every fucking club in the area. I was doing everything from like promotion to like, where do I put these flyers? How do we recap it? Like, and I was like meeting with like club managers and like talking about like, okay, what do you want to do for sexy schoolgirl night and all this shit? But <laughs> Then I started working in restaurants. That was the shit. I love working in restaurants. It's like fast life, hella trashy. You get drunk every night. Shit's <laughs> tight. And then, so I'm getting to like how I got here. You know, you just got blow through the shit. So like Gina, I grew up playing video games. Um, I started streaming on Twitch. Let me be clear. I... I played like League of Legends, mostly League of Legends. <laughs> nerd. I yeah. don't know what that means. It's, is that, like, it's is super, that bad? It's a nerd game. It's All right. Nerd game. All is that matters is that if I hit level six, I'm going to skull fuck anyone. And so I wanted to publicly put that on the internet. Like I was, I was, I was pretty fucking good at this game at the time. And in my head, I was like a level 10, but I was more like a level seven, mm-hmm. like good at this. That's still pretty good. Yeah. The other game was pretty good. And like, so I, I hopped on the website and I just started like live streaming me playing video games. And it was just this really angry black woman like <laughs> there was like I think I was like plat like plat one in League of Legends so like I did Sick. pretty yeah I did yeah pretty I did pretty good Absolutely. and uh so I started streaming things are going great like you make hella money doing it but after about three years my stream started plateauing and I told my parents I was like okay if, if things keep plateauing, because I, I keep mindful of that stuff, like there's a pattern with everything. I'm not going to wait for the next big hit. I was like, if things keep plateauing, I will go back to college and finish it out. So things are going okay. But then one day I get like this dude, he comes into my chat and he's like, hey, hey, Bose, I really like your stream. Do you have like a business email? And I'm like, this is a troll. I was like, fuck off, nerd. <laughs> you actually said that. I just like, I <laughs> basically ignored him. And so then the next day I get a tweet from this guy who like has like a legitimate profile. He's 
like an older dude and he's like, hey, Bose, tried to get in touch with you last night. Do you have a business email for me? And I was like, okay. So I give him my business email and he was like, hey, I want to audition you for this thing. Like, do you have some time to talk? I just want to know your situation. So this dude calls me from a Beverly Hills number and I'm like, hello, bitch, okay. <laughs> you know? And so he talks to me about this thing, says that it's like for this big audition. He's like, would you be willing to relocate to Los Angeles? You'll have to like do this. We'll go through a bunch of interviews, like da, 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 da. And I, it was just so out of left field, you know? And, um, and so I took the interview and I found out that it was for Smosh. So I did like my first interview, like the phone interview. Then I did a Skype interview. Then I did another Skype interview. Then I did a Skype interview with the whole cast. And I was just like, boom, boom, boom. And they had a big pool of like 50 people and they were only going to pick two or three. And so I, I pass everything. They fly me out to go meet the cast and do like a 30 day like filming with them, see if I get along with everything. And I we did uh, Smosh Winter Games. And then at the end of it, this my boss is like, he sits me down in the room. He's like, all right, we're going to offer you a contract. And like I, like, I thought I was going to fucking cry. Like I was so happy because like, yeah. you know, everyone beats themselves up and they think like, oh, I didn't make it. I didn't do good, whatever. He was like, we're going to offer you a contract. And then my whole fucking life changed, you know, like it really did. And, you know, I had my ups and downs there, but like definitely for ever grateful for that experience like who gets to move out to LA with a fucking salary and a job mm -hmm. where you get to travel the country and play video games fucking sick but yeah. that's where I met y'all I, I think I met I think I just met Tiff yeah at Smosh we were yeah. filming with Smosh we did like a, a oh I was on maternity maternity leave oh yeah it was me Julia Joe I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So I met them on set and like, we were like mad chill and like, I don't even know how it happened. Were you just like one day like, Hey, do you want to? Oh no, I, I wasn't even involved with that. There, I think it was, I don't even know who it was. I don't remember but... who hit me up, but I was like, hell yeah, I want to come back. And then Oh, like, for that. Yeah. I think it was Julia. She might've. It, I think yeah. it might've been Julia. Yeah. But like, then I just started like shooting with JK news and shit. And like, after like the third or fourth time, uh, David was like, you're like the lost JK news <laughs> member. <Yeah. laughs> you fit in so well. Yeah. So. Dude, it was, but I mean like it was, it felt good. It felt like, and, and I feel like, you know, JK news has gotten a lot of publicity for like, these people are real and they are exactly who they say they are like you know Theo said that on Joe Rogan's podcast a while ago and like it's fucking true like as soon as we turn these cameras off and we turn the mics off it's the same bitches like we get a little quieter we have our downtime but it's the same bitches and like I love that I'm all about it so you know I'm down to ride yeah <laughs> yeah. I, I work full time but I'm still like down to shoot this podcast and like even just hang out with everyone you know yeah, yeah. so Bose was like our most recent addition she's yep. the newest one What's so up? she had our first uh, she had her first uh, JK trip with us in Vegas like last yeah. month literally two days of Tiff and I crying yes <laughs> we bonded so much it was amazing mm -hmm. I love it yeah. oh damn and I got to be roommates with her and it was just so much fun oh that was that was the best yeah dude. we were like perfect together we would like sit on our bed and just be on reddit together at yeah, like two in the morning <laughs> my favorite part was like at one point with Gina and I were just on our phones and we're like you want to get a bottle of wine and get drunk before dinner <laughs> you want it you want it? I Tiffany show you over yeah. yeah we called Tiffany y'all want to get drunk all right and then all three of us shared a bottle of wine. And just I don't remember up. that invitation. Me neither. I didn't get invited. Oh, it's because you guys, you guys had it. your guys. Yeah, you guys had your guys. Yeah, y'all three were supposed to link Wait, up. Wait, you had us three link too. up. We were fighting. <laughs> That's why we invited Tim. Yeah, That's why I was there. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, I got it.